Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldie for goodies. Fam, thank you guys so much for always showing me so much love and support and commenting, liking the videos and subscribing. It helps so much. Thank you, thank you. Some new new from Tarte. I actually have two of the powder shades and the concealer. I'm thinking we're just gonna use both shades. So I put my foundation on. I'm wearing this one again with a hydrating primer. So by the time this video's up, you already saw this on YouTube Shorts. To give you a quick update because we know how the review was. I feel like with this primer, it's working out definitely better. Tarte just released a new concealer. So let me give you info about it and then we'll start. The new Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer retails for $30. I have the shade 27S, light, medium, sand. It comes in 35 shades. It retails for $30. This concealer feels like an eye cream but delivers full coverage with a natural radiant finish. Don't need a lot, just one dot. Cover the look of dark circles, redness, and more. Infuse with Maracuja oil for brighter, smoother looking under eyes, waterproof, and anti-crease formula will minimize the look of fine lines. 16 hour wear. Let's look at this concealer. I'm usually shade 29, but I got 27. I don't know why I went super light. So let's see. Oh wow, look at this doe foot. Ooh, girl, look. See how long that is? Wow, okay. Let's swatch. Oh, it's creamy. It's pigmented. Look, you see that? You can tell when you swatch it, it's like one swatch, you don't see too much skin. I'm curious to see how this is going to be. We all know that Tarte Shape Tape is amazing. Oh, it feels lightweight. So this is supposed to be like a creaseless concealer that's very hydrating. Concealers typically crease. Haven't found one that doesn't crease at all. There's some that crease more than others. I naturally have very creasy under eyes, so I'm more likely to crease. I want to see what this whole creaselessness business is all about because I don't know, you know? Like this Dofa, it really limits the amount of product you put and I like how you get thin lines. It feels very wet. It's dry down. Okay. On this side, we're going to use the brush. The shade isn't too, too light. I thought it was going to be like way too light. It's good. It looks good. Wow, this is blending out nicely even as I let it sit on the face. I always like to let concealer dry down a little bit. Especially nowadays, I feel like concealers these days are a lot more hydrating than before. It's blending out nicely. Let's see. Oh, coverage. Yeah. By that swatch, we knew there was going to be some coverage, but holy cow. I like to really get like in here because that's where I have the dark purples. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this before and after. Dang, okay. I am feeling this. What I like about this concealer, it kind of dries down in a way that it adheres to your skin, not necessarily dries down matte and dry, dry. Okay. Wow, we got pigment for days here. Woo! Okay, what I want to do, instead of going with this eye, I want to do one eye first, and then we'll move on. Let's go with the yellow side on the left side. Let me give you info about the powder. The new Tarte Creaseless Loose Setting Powder retails for $36. It comes in seven shades. This is a loose setting powder that sets for a natural, brightening look that will stay all day. Stay sexy, no sweaty. Lock in your looks for 16 hours. Say goodbye to chalky vibes and crazy lines. Our powder keeps it smooth and not cakey. I purchased mine at Ulta. Now that we have all the information, this is how the powder looks. Oh wow. This is supposed to be a creaseless, a, a creaseless powder. I don't know about, oh look, it comes with the powder puff. Cute. I just like went like that and it popped out. Let's use the little powder puff here. This is like really yellow. I kind of like the texture of this little powder puff. I love how it's like little. It's a little baby. You know, we always want to get rid of any creases that have happened. This concealer is creasing. They all crease. So I'm going to even out the little powder. I'm going to really work it in here. I love how tiny this thing is. Look. And then I'm going to set my lid. You know how I feel about powders? Powders have to set the eye area, the lid, the under eyes, and the skin well. This powder is really targeted for the under eye area. You know how I feel about under eye area powder? I only use two 
I'm kind of liking this. Looks good. Now I'm just gonna set the face with my little powder puff here. Let's do a little baking action. How do I get powder out of here? I mean, like this. Can I do this motion? This powder is matte, but not too matte. How does the skin feel? Okay, it feels good. It's like bunching up here. Look at this before and after. Oh my. Oh, no lie. I'm really liking this. Something about it is looking so good. For, or maybe it's just the before and after that is so drastic. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna go here and blend this side out with the spongy sponge. Gotta be careful. I don't wanna touch the side that is powdered up. I want to add a good amount like that. Just let it dry. This concealer, I could feel it in my bones. It's good. While this dries down, let's open this one up. This is the lavender shade. It looks like this. I've never set my makeup with lavender. Oh my God, it's like legit purple. Oh, you know what? Let me show you on my phone the colors of both of these powders. You see, the yellow is really yellow. I like that. It's not really a highlighted yellow. It's just yellow and lavender straight purple. Wow. Okay, I think we let this dry down enough. Let's blend out with the sponge. The sponge will always give us a lighter, more natural coverage. The brush will give us more of a full coverage look. But let's see. Oh, okay. The coverage is definitely lighter. I want to build a little bit just because this side is with the sponge. I am very curious how lavender is going to look. So let's bring it down here. Eee! Straight lavender. Oh my gosh. In the meantime, let me touch these swatches. Yeah, this is super creamy. Very creamy and it feels like it adheres to the skin. And look at this pigment. Yeah, this is a very pigmented concealer and hydrating. So my powder puff is ready. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I'm just pressing, pressing, pressing. I think lavender is darkening up my under eye. Oops. I don't know if it's complementing it too well. It's gonna make them look gray. Yeah, maybe let's see. Lavender is not good for my skin tone and my under eyes. I just thought it would be super fun to like get it. But I'm thinking what I'm gonna do. Look, it's like clashing. You see? And the reason I got lavender, honestly, is because I've never seen a powder that's lavender before. And I'm like, let's see. Trial and error, you know how we do here. Pink powder works for my skin tone. Peach powders work. Translucent powders work. Yellow powders work. You don't see too much darkness, but you see that shadow very slightly. Here, it just looks nice and smooth. Let's look up. Okay, looks good. Let's... This looks nice and smooth. This yellow one is looking good. Why is the purple like not setting as much? Is it because I didn't bake? Here, let's bake with this. Let's just leave that there. Leave that there and just see how it goes. So it's currently 9 a.m. You know we're gonna be here all day long. What I'm gonna do is just finish up the face. You know what, let's do the flashback test now. Lately, you know I've been doing two. I've been doing like before the face is done and then after. Maybe I should clean this up, hold on. So what I'm gonna do, let's clean it up with the yellow. In the picture, I think you'll be able to see a little better. And you can see this side is yellow, this side is lavender. I'll put the picture up here. Okay, so if anything, I'm gonna just work with the yellow powder. Oh, you can see the difference. You see? Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm watching beach volleyball. It is so good. I've been loving the Olympics. I love the Olympics. It's just always a good time. There's always something on TV. But whoo, okay, here we are. Here is yellow, here is lavender. Although we did mix the lavender side with a little bit of yellow because lavender's just clashing on my skin tone. Different color setting powders can clash with your skin tone because it doesn't complement it. It's not a complementary color on your skin tone. I've really never, seen that before until today with a whole ass lavender purple powder but it was fun I really just wanted to see how it would look and show you especially how it looks it looks kind of good but I just feel like for my under eyes it's not a good powder but I'm kind of liking this you see how it gives us a bit brightness here it's warm a little bright but not as bright as here under eyes look good 
I think this powder set the under eyes very well. Lids look good too, pretty smooth. Concealer is providing good coverage. When I was thinking about how I was gonna do this video, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it all in one, but I just felt like it was the most efficient way to do it for you. The concealer, I really like. I love how pigmented, creamy, blendable it is. Pigment, it's like the pigment for me. The powders, I would say I like the yellow one a little bit better. Oh, I didn't show you my finger test. I always do my little finger test oh it's not as finely milled i don't think it's creaseless i don't think either one of these things are creaseless oh did the u.s win hold on oh the u.s lost Woo. okay what was i saying um powders i really forgot my total train of thought let's actually do the flash test oh wait my flash isn't on Let's see. Yeah, so here is the yellow. Here is the lavender. I'll put it up for you. Let me do more facing forward. Okay, I look a little startled, but it's okay. This is the yellow side. This is the lavender side. The yellow side is the no piercing. Lavender is the piercing. If I were to pick right now, I'm kind of liking the concealer more than these powders. I don't feel like it's as smoothing and as blurring my under eyes as I would like it to. So we'll see. With the wear test, I've seen it where it just gets better. So we will definitely see. My lip combo is the one I've been doing all week. This one from CoverGirl, the lip stain in All Star, and then splash from milk i just love it i just love it but okay let's go in front of the window so you can see how things look in daylight oh i'm curious to see how it's gonna look skin looks good right but when we get close the under eyes look a little rough this is the yellow side this is the purple side you can see like that darkness that it just accentuates it the powder color that's just a trial and error i'm really looking for that texture i don't feel like the skin looks as smooth as it should my forehead looks very nice and like my cheeks right here but it's like over here i think it's just looking a little rough and if it's not setting the under eyes well you know so we'll see like i don't know yet you know okay bye hey hey i'm back it is 8 40 we've had the powder and concealer on all day but you know i got some footage for you at around five o'clock to show you how the skin and under eyes were looking at this point the skin was looking good it was really warming up well you can definitely see the yellow shade is a lot more brighter and it just meshes so much better with my skin tone my under eyes were looking good we did have good coverage here we are now i think it's been 12 hours right because we started at 8 30. the lids look good wow they actually look really really good under eyes okay under eyes look better this is yellow and lavender a lot better than i anticipated wow okay with the lavender shade we could tell because it just completely clashed so wearing it i think it got a lot better with time and skin warmth definitely got better the concealer i love i really really just like how it wears i think it is very very creamy and pigmented i just loved it from the get the only thing is i feel like we couldn't get a true view on it because of the powder so what i'm gonna do is insert some footage here like a second day application and setting it the way i typically set with my press and maybelline powder just so you guys have options okay just want to jump in and show you the under eyes under eyes look good i will say i was looking at this this shade is way too light i'm typically shade 30 i'll do the warm 30 w or sand i'll get an updated shade because as i was putting it on i'm like dang this is so so light a light light concealer could do is just accentuate your darkness because it doesn't really color correct it makes things a little bit gray if you're dealing with a very light concealer this isn't too light because it has that warmth to it i was like yeah it's a little it's a little much damn look how smooth this is i set my under eyes my usual method with my revlon powder and my maybelline powder and you see how beautiful it looks very different from yesterday where we saw that darkness peeking through it just didn't look as smooth this is how i like the concealer to look when it's set when i look up and then when i look straight ahead it's just nice and ooh smooth you know the concealer is great it's great it's great it's great i love it okay back to the outro for the first impressions i really really love this oh by the way i just got my nails done I got them done today. I love this concealer. I think it's beautiful. The powders, I think they're just okay. It's super great. They have all these shades, but I don't think it's as finely milled where it doesn't set the under eyes as perfect as their other tape shape powder that I've used. I think it was like a year ago. I don't think these powders are the greatest. They're not as finely milled. And typically,
basically a finely milled powder is the one that really adheres to all the areas and it doesn't accentuate any darkness. So the powders, I'm gonna skip. The concealer, I definitely would buy again. It's available at Ulta. I will tag and link it for you if you want to pick it up. But let me know your thoughts. I mean, Tarte, I feel like, is one of those brands that stick to what they're good at. Once they have like a good product, I feel like they really push it. So I do find that this is new. I think the colors is super cool. This concealer is great. It's different from what their Tarte Shape Tape Matte Concealer is. Let me know your thoughts on Tarte. Also, do you use their makeup? Do you like them? Their makeup is cool. Some products are great. Some products are whatever, you know? But this is it, fam. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.